Just like any sport, sometimes injuries just happen when swimming. Whether you're a casual swimmer, competitive swimmer, or even a wild swimmer. Now we all know that swimming is a great rehabilitation for injuries caused by other sports, but the repetitive strains you get from swimming can lead to micro traumas that put any swimmer out of action. I'm Sean from Simply Swim and I'm here to talk about the most common injured body parts in swimming. Shoulders. This is the most common body part to be injured during swimming. <laughs> of course it is. The shoulder joint is vulnerable for every swimmer due to the motion she perform when swimming. The most common injury in the shoulder is the rotor cuff in pigments. This is caused by pressure on the rotator cuff and the part of the shoulder blade. Another common injury is shoulder instability, which is the result of the structure surrounding the shoulder joint doesn't work to maintain the ball within the socket. Now these injuries tend to occur with overuse or improper technique, so remember to mix up your movements in the water to give certain parts of your body a rest. Knees. Most knee injuries are common with people that use brush stroke a lot. This is because of the movement of the knee places high level of strain to the knee which can damage the tendons and ligaments. This has been dubbed the breast stroker's knee. Most get this from overtraining, poor technique and insufficient warm ups. Just like the shoulder, mixing up the strokes and doing stretches can help reduce the risk of the dreaded breaststroke knee. And on a quick note, even if you don't do the breaststroke, you can still get patella tendon irritation from the down kick or flutter kick. Back. Now swimming is a great way to help relieve back pain. This is also very ironic because research shows that majority of swimmers experience back pain as a result of swimming. This is mainly due to the twist motions during movements through the flip turns and the butterfly. These techniques can cause irritation to spinal joints. Lower back pain can also be caused from stretching for long periods of time during movements such as the breaststroke. Again, just like the knees and shoulders, to reduce the risk of being injured, try to avoid awkward or unnatural movements and don't forget to stretch. Hip. Just like Shakira, our hips don't lie. So this is aimed at regular leisure swimmers. Movements such as the breaststroke kick is a risk for hip adductor injury. And factors such as improper strength and timing can cause an individual's pelvis and hips to lie in an awkward position. And of course this leads to hip injuries. If you suffer from weak hips or hip injuries then it's advised not to even attempt the breaststroke. And there we have it. So in a nutshell, if you're not doing the breaststroke, please just take it easy and don't forget to do your warm-ups. If you like this video, why not smash that like button and share it with your swimming buddies. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you want to stay up to date with our amazing videos, don't forget to hit that bell icon.